Hey, I got a catchphrase for this movie. Don't see it, don't rent it. Don't see it, don't rent it. Don't see it, don't rent it. The Bye Bye Man. The Bye Bye Man, directed by Stacy Title, starring Douglas Smith and Doug Jones as the Bye Bye Man, along with Carrie Ann Moss, Faye Dunaway, <laughs> and a bunch of other actors that are just terrible in this movie. This is the new January horror film about these three college kids, Elliot, John, and Elliot's girlfriend, Sasha. They have found a house to live in off campus since they're going to school in Wisconsin and they want to stay off campus at this house that they are renting. They're going through the furniture in the basement and find this old nightstand which happens to have this drawer with writing on it that says don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it. And underneath the paper that has this writing written repeatedly over and over again is the words the bye bye man. The minute Doug Smith reads those words, the Bye Bye Man, this evil spirit or demon or whatever, starts coming after them as he's thinking more about it and the fact that he has told both Sasha and John about this guy and their friend, um, Kim, who happens to be clairvoyant or psychic. So this evil demon is coming after them and could kill them. This demon is messing with their minds, making them see things that they're, that is not there, and divine, creating divide and conquer in order to kill them. And that's pretty much the movie. You got this evil demon with a hellhound, played by Doug Jones, trying to kill these four college kids. And you have Carrie and Moss playing the police officer investigating what's happening. Now, when I heard about this movie, I didn't really expect much from this film. This, this film really didn't look all that good. The trailer said that this movie was going to be rated R, but once it was released, it was brought down to PG-13. I believe they did it because they wanted the January release. They wanted to get more money for the film. And this movie is just terrible. Because it's brought down to PG-13, all the death that happens within this movie has no connection to it because you don't really see any gore or blood so you don't really feel like it's real. And then the acting in this movie is so bad so even with an R rating I don't think it would save the acting in this movie. The acting is terrible in this film. The, the scares in this movie are not all that great. They're mostly jump scares and that's not all that scary really. And the fact that we got good actors in this movie too, you got Faye Dunaway playing an old woman that knows the history of the incident in the 1960s with the Bye Bye Man. And she's not all that great in the movie. And Carrie Ann Moss playing the police officer Trinity from The Matrix. She's not all that great in the movie either. She's barely in the movie that much. She's only in it for a couple scenes really. And the rest of the characters, <laughs> they're just cannon fodder for this character that is coming after them trying to create havoc and everything and scaring people and killing people. One thing that was refreshing about the Bye Bye Man is the fact that John, the black guy in the film, he doesn't die first which that's a common trope within horror films that the black character dies first so it was kind of refreshing to see that he actually survives a little bit longer than some of the other characters, so that was kind of refreshing that, it, that the movie didn't go for that common cliche within the film. And then there's the way how to stop the Bye Bye Man, which here's a spoiler how to stop the Bye Bye Man, according to this stupid movie. In order to stop the Bye Bye Man, you have to kill everyone that knows about him and then kill yourself. Well then the Bye Bye Man wins! That's stupid! And then there's the phrase, don't think it, don't say it. If you say don't think it, don't say it, then obviously you're thinking about the Bye Bye Man anyway, so that's just dumb too. This whole movie is stupid. This movie creates lore about the Bye Bye Man, that the Bye Bye Man has a hellhound, there are these gold coins that you see that are supposed to be warnings that he's coming. There's this train whistle, 
that you hear that is supposed to be a, pre a precursor that the bye bye man is coming but there's no explanation as to his motivations why is there a train why is there a hellhound what's with the gold coins nothing to explain anything about this man and when they go to the internet to do research about this guy they are going to this website called search they can't even afford the rights for google to use within the, the movie they instead have to just create a fake search scene website instead which is so dumb it just shows how bad this movie is so no doubt about it this movie gets an f don't see it don't rent it don't even bother with this film there's still some great oscar choices out that are much better to see like silence is out the new martin scorsese film yeah patriot's day that just came out the movie about the boston marathon bombing that's much better than this film the movie about jackie kennedy jackie who's starring Natalie portman is out now too and i'm sure even the ben affleck directed movie live by night is probably better than this too <laughs> so yeah don't even bother with the bye bye man 